Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. I try to make sense of this crazy Arizona market, even when there's days like today where nothing makes sense. Last January, we started out with 5,201 available homes on the market. Today, we're sitting 15,444. Now, we creeped up back here in October to almost 20,000 homes. When we got to 20,000 homes, prices started dropping like a rock. And it was the combination of all of these listings coming on board for two factors. People were saying, uh-oh, rates are going up. We'd better list our home now. And buyers were saying, they're already up. I can't afford it. I'm out. And so prices came down. But they came down to a level where they stayed. So price listing prices came down and they have been flat for three months. But now what we're seeing is we're seeing because of the rates that went down, even though the central bank said, that they're going to continue raising rates until inflation gets down to 2%. The bond market is looking out six months and saying, well, consumer price, uh, CPI, you know, prices, inventory, not inventory, inflation. There, I got it. I spit it out. Um, inflation is improving. And, it, and when inflation improves, interest rates improve. Now, there has been periods in history where the, like 2018, 2019, you can see that the Fed kept their, overnight rate right here, and yet mortgage rates were dropping. They were dropping before the Fed made their move. So they're not tied as close together as you think they are. So when you're watching the news and you see they go up 0.25, you're not going to be able to look and see that mortgage rates went up a cool, you know, 0.25. So you have to watch the bond market. And we watch that closely here, even though when I bet the direction of interest rates, I still lose. You can see here that accepted contracts jumped up and that jumped up because of what we saw on interest rates last week going down to about 5.99 and uh, sales are increasing. Now, our month of supply is going down just a little bit. This is all good news for sellers and price changes, though, are lagging. You're seeing price cuts here. There weren't many price cuts down here because that was the holidays. Right here, you're seeing price cuts about 2373, 2410. And the price cuts are a result of homes staying on the market longer. If sales continue to increase like they are, I don't expect them to increase much more than what we're seeing right now. Rates are still going to have to come down a little bit more, a little bit more before that happens. But they're up to about 2,700 on a seven day moving average. If they continue to climb, then there won't be as much pressure to reduce list pricing. But there are still people out there that are listing their homes too high. And then the other difficult part now is, gosh, it almost doesn't matter what price you list your home at. People are just going to offer you lower than that anyway. Nobody likes a list pricing. So um, they'll they'll tell you, you know, you're asking 400, I'm giving you 380. Um, that's just what's going on in this market. The other thing that's happening too is Wells Fargo is retreating from the mortgage market that it once led. Now, this isn't going to lead to any headlines to say Wells Fargo got out because we're going to see the market crash. That's what happened last time they froze their mortgage business. They're still going to keep their existing customers, help them, and they're going to be active in the minority community, minority community, according to the president. But this doesn't mean they're getting out because they think housing market's in trouble. They're getting out because They've been fined by the Fed a million times, and uh, they've been told they can't grow their balance sheet until they get their ducks in a row. But they're finding that the interest rates are just too volatile right now. So they're concentrating on other consumer products out there like this. They make a lot more money on these credit cards than they're making on mortgages. Uh, Wells Fargo did $159 billion last year on mortgages, and they have a lot of competition for places like United Wholesale Mortgage and Rocket Mortgage. Rocket Mortgage did $340 billion. United Wholesale did $227 billion. Uh, you'll start hearing a little bit more about them because the owner of United Wholesale Mortgage bought the Phoenix Suns. He's quite the basketball fan, from what I understand. So they're getting out of the mortgage business, and they're, so are the other two big banks. They're all backing down away from mortgages and letting these other mortgage companies take the lion's share while they concentrate on consumer products. So it's not going to be, it's not going to affect our housing market, our mortgage market, one iota. 
So that's the interesting news for January. Do me a favor, smash that like button. Thanks for watching.